There are no strings on me. Yo, what is good? What is happening, everybody? It is your boy Connor, your primitive AK here, back with another video for you guys. Today, we are here with the brand new Armagura 43 high rate of fire SMG inside of Vanguard. As far as I know, this is not available in Warzone as of yet. For some reason, they told us this weapon was dropping later on in the season, but they sort of surprised us here and decided to drop this weapon today. Um, you can actually unlock this weapon. I believe you have to get 10 hit fire kills in 15 different matches. I am unsure if you're able to leave those matches, but if you are able to leave the matches, I'll leave a pinned comment so you guys are able to have that information. But um, this currently is available right now in Vanguard, so go out there, get this thing unlocked, go ahead and get it uh, maxed out and everything for Warzone. I will definitely be doing that as well. Um, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and showcase that this weapon is capable of. The attachments that are included are the Strive Compensator, Recoil Booster, M19 Silencer, the, um, Marauder Flash Hider, Rifle Break, Mercury Silencer, and F8 Stabilizer. Your barrels include the 180 Short, Profetto Custom, Body 315 CII, which is probably going to be the most broken one on this weapon. This is very similar to the well gun attachments. Next up, we have the Emirdo 550 and also the Body 570 as well to give you more headshot damage. Optics are pretty much all standard. Nothing changes with any of these sights here. These are all pretty much the same. The only difference here is are your iron sights. Um, obviously, the, each weapon has different iron sights. So you have this one here as well as a custom Type 15 iron sight. Your stocks include the SA folding, the standard TA skeletal, and the DA stock. Proficiencies include sleight of hand, steady, hard scope, discard, panic, and also vital, which is more than likely going to be very broken here. And your kits are all standard. Nothing changes with any of these attachments here. Your rear grip, also standard attachments. These are included on every single weapon, so nothing out of the norm with these. Magazine attachments include the 60 round, the 40 round, 25 round, and also 75 to give you a boost to your damage. Ammo types are pretty much standard as well. We have FMJ, Lengthen, Subsonic, Incendiary, Hollow Point, and Frangible. And our underbarrels are standard as well. We have the Skeletal. Pretty much all these are available on every single weapon. So um, we're going to go ahead and hop in a private match just to kind of showcase what this weapon is capable of. We're going to try it without attachments, so we're going to get 20 kills without attachments, and also 20 kills with an ideal class setup. So this is what I believe would be an ideal class setup for the uh, Amargo 43. My guess is that this weapon is going to be a three-shot kill based on the attachments that I have here, um, but we'll just have to see exactly what that's capable of. Um, it, it, it's, it's probably going to be a four- or three-shot kill, but let's go ahead and jump in a private match and showcase what this thing All is. All right, we're here now in a private match just showcasing this bad boy. Let's see what this thing does. So this is without any attachments. Oh, he was one shot. I think that was a three-shot. I need to double-check that. One, two, three, four... So it's a five shot. It's a five shot. It's got an insanely high rate of fire, though. One, two, three. F Hold up. I suck. Four. I think I shot twice there. I got to double check that. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Five shot kill. So without attachments, it's about a five shot kill. So my prediction is that this will be probably like a probably a three shot. When you put all the attachments on it. But I mean, so far, this thing's pretty nice. I, I like what this thing's capable of. It's got practically no recoil. Yeah, this rate of fire is nuts. Yeah, I would definitely have a blast with this thing in pubs. You take this thing at close range. I I'm more excited to try this thing in Warzone. Obviously, the weapons in Warzone perform a lot different. But for the most part... I can tell I would have a blast with this. Mm, mm, mm. Now I'm going to switch to a class with uh, attachments here. So this is an ideal class setup, at least what I would think. Uh, why is the gun, like, muting my... Hold up. Yo, the gun doesn't have audio. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, the gun doesn't have audio when you shoot it. Oh, the audio is busted on this thing. Hold up. How many how many shots kills this? One, two, three. I think it's three shot. One, two, three, four. No, it's a four shot. Alright, so it's about what I expected. It's a four shot kill. But 
I will say, if you guys haven't already noticed, this weapon is very much busted right now because there's like no audio when I'm shooting this weapon. I'm not sure why. Very strange. Look, it's cutting out the audio. Bro. It's literally cutting out the audio when I shoot this gun. Oh my gosh. But hey, like I said, guys, this weapon's definitely going to be a formidable weapon in Warzone. I can definitely tell. Uh, one of my concerns is obviously recoil. It could have some recoil problems in Warzone, but, you know, we'll just have to wait till tomorrow to see what that's capable of. But uh, overall, it's a four-shot kill when you put it put together an ideal class setup and about a five-shot kill when you're not using any damage perks with the weapon. But uh, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. It's your boy Carnage, Pimper Vicky Kate, signing out. Peace out, fellas.